Hey and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can add an app icon in Xcode 14. So if you're wondering how to add an app icon, you may have saw my previous video on how to do this. Well, starting with Xcode 14, there's actually an easy way for us to actually add, you know, app icons to our Swift UI applications or just iOS apps in general. Now, in order to actually follow this tutorial, you'll need to make sure that you're using the version that I'm using, which is Xcode 14. Now, what I'm actually using right now is actually a beta version of Xcode at the time of this recording. But if you're watching this sometime in a distant future, then you can just use the standard general, you know, GM version of Xcode. So even between, you know, this and the GM version of Xcode 14, there shouldn't really be any drastic changes. Now, if you're looking for different versions of Xcode to use on your machine, then I can highly recommend this tool that I actually break down in my previous video in the SwiftUI Sessions playlist that goes over the top iOS development tools that I use. And this is an app called Xcode, which simply allows you to essentially download and manage different versions of Xcode on your machine. So you can see here how I have the beta and I have Xcode 13.4 as well. So I can basically manage the different versions. So when you're actually looking at your app icon in Xcode 14, if you're someone who actually already has one in your actual you know, project and it's not a brand new project, what we're going to do now is actually discuss how you can update an existing project to use the new way of only having a single asset in your assets file for your app icon that is used for your iOS apps. So if you just go to your assets catalog, you should see here that you have app icon. Now when you click on this, now what we have here is we have all the different versions and we have to actually, you know, like we did in the previous video um, in this course, we use a tool called Bakery to help us generate all these different sizes. Well, starting with Xcode 14, you don't actually need to do this anymore. What you can just do is just upload one size and that's it. Now in order to do that, what you're going to need to do is actually open up your right hand side panel here and then when you actually get to your right hand side panel, you're going to need to go to your attributes inspector at the end here. When you see these options, you'll want to make sure that for Mac OS, you're just going to choose none. If you're unless you're developing on a Mac OS, you know, app, then you can select the sizes, but we're not here. And then for iOS, you just want to make sure that you select single size. And now you have one asset that will be used for all of the different sizes that are needed within, you know, for your iOS app. Now it's also worth noting as well that when you upload this asset, you'll want to make sure that it's 1024 by 1024 so that you can get the correct sizing and it scales nicely. So that's all you need to do if you're just looking to essentially just update, you know, an existing project to use the new single size property in the attributes inspector and this will work fine but what if you're in a situation when you essentially need to basically you know add a app icon you know fresh at the beginning well what i'm just going to do is just simulate that so if we just delete this i'm now going to add here app icon so ios app icon so you'll see that when you actually add a brand new app icon in and you click on it you'll see that you just have an empty slot here that just says single size like so so all you'd have to do again is just simply drag in an image that is 1024 by 1024 and then you're done. So I've actually got another copy of the same, you know, app icon and all we'd have to do is just copy that into here and then boom, that's it. So you can see, so you can see that in Xcode 14, it really does make our lives a whole lot easier when we want to add app icons to our Swift UI applications. So just before we wrap up on this video, let's actually just run this on the simulator to see, you know, if our app icons look okay. So if I just go here and I'm just going to choose iPhone 13 Pro and then let's just run this. If I just dismiss this, you'll now see that here our app icon looks fine on iOS 16. So you can see here how easy it is to just add app icons using Xcode 14. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave some feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it as well if you gave this video a thumbs up and you know, by giving it a like, as well as subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.